Right, in order to get the XB up on both ramps at the same time, I'm marking where the center of the wheel lines up above the ramp. I'm going to do the same on this one. Right, so we've got the marks lined up, put the wheel back on, measure the center to center distance, and that's where the all four ramps have to line up. Right, so I've carried the mark over. So we've got them on both sides, one will be left hand, one will be right hand. And the same thing for the steel ramps. Got them lined up, one left, one right. Now we're going to measure the center distance from the center of the hub to the back hub. Okay, and that shows 99 inches. It's easy to remember. So we're measuring 99 inches from the middle of that tape mark. to the middle of this tape mark and that's where this ramp needs to go. Right, so right now obviously the ramp is not going to go under the car but I have these spacers, it's a pair of 2 by 6s and a little bit of hardboard under to hold them together. So I'm going to drive the rear wheels up and the front wheels up the front ramps and then when the back ones go up I'll be able to lift this onto the wood and we'll continue driving up to the ramps. Right, so I'm sliding the, the ramps into the car so that I'm now on the wood. Can't go backwards anymore, otherwise I'll land on there. But I can drive it the rest of the way up. Oh my god, math worked. Is this one on? And we have this one on. Right where it should be. And here's the XB up on both ramps. As you can see, there's stacks of room under there now. Well, stacks, it's not as good as a hoist, but I've got about a foot or so of clearance. So hopefully, I can get to that rear mount, which is right around. There.